Hello everybody. Happy Halloween. Does anyone remember those ghost shows as a kid? Like, you know, the Halloween shows where you just watch a bunch of paranormal stories. They kind of do documentations about it and then they kind of show some footage if you know what I mean. Growing up, I realized that a lot of these shows about paranormal stuff and ghosts are absolutely fake. And it's kind of disheartening a little bit because when I was younger, I used to believe all these shows. But today, guys, we're going to be talking about a show that most of you may be familiar with. And what's kind of insane is that there are so many gullible people who fall for these type of shows all the time, and especially some movies too. When I was a kid, I had a childhood friend who told me that the Paranormal Activity movies were not acting at all and they were real footage. <laughs> Looking back, that shit is funny as shit. What's up everybody? I'm a Marx, and today we're going to be reacting to a TV show called Ghost Adventures. Now, there's a few things in particular that goes along with this show. It involves a lot of scary music, high edits, and a lot of fucking dramatic ass reactions. You'll see what I mean <laughs> in a minute. Like, I'm not kidding you. Every single episode is like a fucking dramatic slideshow. It's kind of crazy. But anyways, we're going to be talking about this episode of a guy named Zach who discovers some weird haunted house with his ghost crew. Johanna, are you in here? I'm in your secret room right now, sweetie. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Are you flirting with the ghost? Like, it's only 12 seconds in and we already got people, like, flirting with the ghost. <laughs> Dude, that's corny. I know what happened, Johanna. I know your lover, Robert Randall, was murdered. While I was up in the spotlight room, our static night vision camera picked up this unexplained crying noise. Is this the spirit of Johanna? Another thing that the show likes to do a lot is they'll take the found footage they found of a ghost and they'll like put it, like they'll edit in a female sound crying or just have a bunch of loud noises, you know, just to kind of get people to be jump scared. But at the, but there's literally nothing there. Every single ghost, like episode of Ghost Adventures, there is not a single like evidence, like visible evidence of a ghost on camera. It's like phasmophobia, but without the fucking ghost. As I made my way back downstairs to meet up with Nick and Aaron, I heard screams from Nick and found him running out of the men's restroom where the guy we interviewed earlier, Rich Lawson, was violently attacked by a malevolent spirit. That was, was wow. Was that you that made that noise? Go ahead, do it again. Bruh, someone's trying to square up with a ghost. Like, you don't know what type of ghost it is. Like, it could be a demon. It could be a spirit. Or it could be fucking, you know, like in Phasmophobia, the twins or something. Like, you just never know, man. Don't ever beef with a ghost. <laughs> and, and, of course, they say uh, that the ghost scared the shit out of him and everything. But, of course, they don't show it. Because, you know, it's for dramatic effect. Go ahead. You don't want me in this bathroom? Bang on it again. Oh my god, that scared the living out of me. That scared me too, bro. I'm shaking right now. That was... right. Bro, that fucking acting, dude. I'm scared, bro. Yeah, I'm really shaking. Like, bro, did you read that awful fucking script? Like, word for word? That sounded so terrible. Like, I don't know exactly how to describe it, but, like, it gives me that vibe of, like, a movie cameo star who obviously is not into, like, video games and stuff, goes into the, like, studio booth and voice acts for a character in a video game and it, like, half-asses it. That's the vibe I kind of get when he reacts like that. Like, it sounds so fucking, like, <laughs> uninspiring and dull. Another thing I noticed too, like while watching this, is that the guy who claimed he saw a ghost and was like attacked and heard a loud noise, the, d the narrator said he heard that noise and the cameras were apparently rolling the whole time. But every time they get to that part of like and describes what happened, you don't see the actual like in the moment shit at all. You don't even see the fucking proof. Like if you, like if you're claiming to find seeing a ghost, show the evidence, man. Like I know it's just a show, but damn, it just irritates me. What the f oh my f stop! 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 Stop, run. stop running! 
Okay, okay, they showed something there. It kind of reminds me of the movie Quarantine a little bit, but yeah, I like how when they get spooked like that, they're fucking yelling at it like it's their kid, like, stop that, stop running. Like, <laughs> bro, you're gonna agitate the fucking thing some more, man. Like, don't yell, yell at the ghost. Another thing this show really loves to do as well is to claim for evidence of ghosts, like in action, they always hear some random noise and then they're like, oh my God, what was that? What was that? Like, there's a lot of that in this show and it's very repetitive and annoying a little bit but yeah every time you hear like a little rock or something really small they're like oh my god what is that is that a ghost like it's so ridiculous like i guess you could say this is definitely one of the most dramatic ghost shows you've ever seen go back in do not run go back in move, do move, not move. run right. stop running go ahead do it again do not run from this we're not running from you do it! Get this! Stop, Come on! Stop, do stop. it! You scared us pretty good, but we're not leaving this time. You want us out? You gotta harm us. Bro, I hope that guy gets slapped around and punched in the face by the damn ghost, bro. Because agitating the thing one is like one thing, right? But threatening to like, trying to influence it to harm you. Yeah, you deserve to be fucking thrown around and stuff, man. I wouldn't be shocked if like some like movies like the movie Devil where they're stuck in the elevator and you're getting thrown around like a rag doll in that elevator. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened to you. Stop agitating the ghost. On the count of three, I want you to make a noise and we'll leave. You gotta make a noise first. One. Whoa. Just then, we all heard a loud noise as if it was responding to my request. Here it is again with the enhanced audio. You gotta make a noise first. One. Bruh, loud my ass. You had to enhance your audio just for us to barely hear it. It was like a little knock. Like, that's louder than what that was in the video. <laughs> like, bruh, the, you ain't fooling anyone. It sounds like someone, like, purposely knocked on, like, a metal cabinet from a distance or very quietly just to be super fucking dramatic, man. Like, come on. Now, if you guys are still a fan of these shows, like props to you, man, you can find entertainment in something like this. That's cool. But now, for me as an adult now, I can't really get into these type of shows anymore because it just seems very cheesy now and just very over the top. It's just, you just kind of notice it now when you get older and, and it's ridiculous. Like, it reminds me of like Chris Angel Mind Freak. I was like, when I was like 10 years old, I thought he was a demigod. I even got his little magic kit, but like, as I got older, he just did some like cliche 2010 edits for most of his stunts and that's the vibe this kind of gives off like a little bit it's kind of fucking sad but funny now fast forwarding through this episode the narrators explain that uh they heard some loud noises upstairs and they're going to investigate what's in the bedroom so now we're going to see the parts where they're going to investigate the bedrooms and see if they could visually finally capture a ghost guys i don't know what's in here what is that, another door? There's so many doors in this place. Italy. Whoa. What is it? I don't know. It's like an old attic or something. Okay, sorry. Attic. Not bedroom, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I saw this greenish ball of light with my own eyes. And as I reacted to it, it began to slowly move and disappear as I zoomed in on it with my night vision camera. Man, that zoom in though, in that circle? Yeah, this definitely gives me like 2009 vibes. <laughs> That door, that place we just went in, that was all weird looking, is in this nice looking bedroom. Now that's weird. Mr. Miller, are you in here? Was this your old room? And you used to walk up and around here? And Betty used to hear you? Is that correct? Can you make a noise for us? Now, I noticed there's a bit of a pattern with this show. The camera crew asked the ghost to make a noise. It sometimes won't make a noise, but sometimes when it does like make a noise, it'll go on the other side of the room or it'll randomly somehow speak. And then after that, after all the ghost evidence, the narrator explains what happened or where they went next. And then the cycle repeats. It is definitely the most like fucking teaser type content you could definitely see for a TV show like Ghost Adventures. I guess they call it a ghost adventures because they sure be back pedaling every five seconds like it's some damn video game. Like, damn, bro, do you have to walk in a circle with this crazy wavy camera the whole time? Like, damn. Like, I get it. It's a, t like, it's entertainment, but God, like, stop it. <laughs> 
Okay, everybody, that'll be it for today's video. Uh, what do you guys think about the TV show Ghost Adventures? Do you guys watch it? Because I sure as hell don't. I really don't watch a lot of TV shows like I used to, but this is definitely one of the fucking documentary type channels from the Discovery Channel I definitely don't watch. If you guys do like this show, leave a comment in the comment section below and just tell me why you enjoy this show. Because for me, I really am not into this type of show. But like, if you really do enjoy it or you do think it's real, uh, t comment down below. I'd like to hear about it. And no, guys, just because I say Ghost Adventures is fake does not mean I think ghosts in general are fake because that is an entire different discussion. I had friends that experienced stuff like this with paranormal stuff before, and the stories they told me is kind of scary. Now, fortunately, I've never experienced anything myself, but I also never been to any abandoned area, so I really don't have that type of experience. But maybe in the foreseeable future, I could do something like that. But yeah, there is definitely some scary shit that people have told me, and I do believe it because uh, you can't make all that shit up sometimes, you know? Alrighty, guys. Happy Halloween. Hope you all get your candy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.